South Africa is currently building the longest cable bridge in Africa. Hello Displorers, welcome to another informative video presented to you by Displo and thanks for watching. In this video we shall look at South Africa's cable bridge which could potentially be the longest cable bridge in Africa upon completion. With the recent increase of construction projects on the African continent, every nation is striving to get the good end of the deal of claiming the king title on city, roads, skyscrapers and even bridges on the continent. Every African nation wants to be affiliated to having the best of all the worlds of infrastructural development in Africa. With these, the countries are getting into taking loans on various terms and consortiums in order to make the infrastructural high table. Most of these loans are used for projects which get realized, while others stall and never get realization points. This South African cable bridge project, also called the Msikaba Bridge, is one of such projects. Msikaba Bridge is scheduled to become the second longest span bridge crossing ever constructed on the African continent with a tower to tower distance of 580 meters. Only the Maputo Katembe Bridge in Mozambique will be longer, having opened in 2018 with a suspension span of 680 meters. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. The new Cable State Bridge will also become the third highest bridge in Africa with a deck of 194 meters high. This drop is exceeded only by the 216 meter high Blokrans Bridge and the 223 meter high Mtentu Bridge, also located on the new N2 Toll Way Bypass Road. The Msikaba and Mtentu Bridges are part of an improvement to the older N2 Wild Coast Toll Road that will be 85 km shorter and 3 hours faster. Designed by Dising Wedling, the concrete structure will have a deck of 22.8 meters wide with walkways on both bridges. Destined to be the longest cable state bridge in Africa, the Msikaba Bridge is being constructed by Concor Infrastructure in a joint venture with Motor NGO Construction. Significant work has already been done on the establishment's infrastructure to support the construction works, work on the approach road and the significant pylon foundations and anchor blocks for the bridge are currently under construction. Being built over the Msikaba Gorge and the Lusikisiki in the Eastern Cape, the Msikaba Bridge forms part of the N2 Wild Coast project being undertaken by the South African National Road Agency Limited, the SANRAL. The successful bidder for the Msikaba Bridge is a joint venture between South African civil engineering company Conco and international construction business Motor Angel. The South African National Road Agency, SANRAL, had launched a new tender process as no acceptable bids had been received when the project was initially advertised. Bridging the community and business. With any construction, there are usually ramifications which range from social, environmental, financial and so forth, which involved in the mix. Hence, it becomes imperative that the project at hand is able to balance the effects of it all. In this way, they can satisfy the human factor of the community where the project is being executed, while maintaining the business part of the project including the profits. According to Eric Weiss, Managing Director of Conco Infrastructure, what is important is that the joint venture has overcome the initial community challenges through significant community engagement strategies with the various community stakeholders and businesses on board. The constructing company Concor has not only the ability to construct the bridge but already has many standing references to check its credentials of bringing forth historic bridges. Concor has a strong legacy in the construction of iconic bridges having constructed the Blue Crans Bridge back in 1983. At the same time, the company also built the Groot Rivier and Bobejans Rivier bridges in the Eastern Cape. The Msikaba Bridge itself will require 43,000 meter cube of concrete, 2,700 tons of structural steel and 1,090 tons of cables and 3,100 tons of steel reinforcing. This contract to concur comes with a package deal of another bridge that is the balance of works contained in the contract which includes construction of 1,500 km of approach roadworks on either side of the bridges, expressed in quantities. This will include 650,000 meter cube of bulk earthworks, of which 430,000 meter cube is hard rock, a conventional three span bridge, and four seen to concrete culverts crossing some of the tributaries. A significant amount will be spent on projects to benefit widely the community, including upgrading or repairing gravel roads in the district. Cable Way to East Logistics. Whenever a project is launched, there are usually factors such as transportation of raw materials and laborers to and from the site of construction, which will need to be considered with keen interest, without which cost might just be escalated on such aspects without knowing. The same thing was the case of the Cable Bridge project in South Africa. 
Carrying materials to and from the site of construction will involve a great deal of expenditures if care is not taken. Given that there are three hours drive distance between sites of construction and the base of laborers and raw materials. Besides, it involves movements from one edge of a rock hill to another between the north and south side of the bridge. Wiz, who is part of the construction board, explains that due to the remoteness of the projects as well as the logistics traveling from the northern side to the southern side, which is a three hour drive, a cableway will be installed as part of the temporary works. Due to the specialist nature of its installation, a company from Switzerland has been appointed to install the cableway. It was anticipated that the cableway will be complete and operational by May of 2020. The cable car system will be used to transport people and small amounts of material from one side to the other, Wiz still reiterates. In this way, time wastage, finances and resources will be utilized to their full potentials without any wastage at all. Talk of a project within a project. Progress report of the project. After a contractor was appointed to build South Africa's longest cable state bridge, following a restart of the bidding process, things took a left turn. Work on the project was suspended following the declaration of the national states of this attender to the COVID-19 pandemic, which led to a nationwide lockdown but has been resumed under the level 4 restrictions with all necessary measures having been put in place to ensure the health and safety of all stakeholders. Workers on the project are strictly observing social distancing and all regulations are being put in place to ensure the safety of the workers, Gongo Infrastructure and Moto Engine Construction, a joint venture taxed on the project confirmed. The 33-month construction period for the Msikaba Bridge was due to get underway in February 2019 following an initial three-month ramp-up period. The total contract amount is approximately $115 million, US dollars, excluding value-added tax. Construction of South Africa's longest cable stage bridge, Msikaba Bridge, is now in good progress and observers and the construction firm Concor says that it's just a matter of time before the project is completed and officially inaugurated for the use intended. Conclusion The Msikaba Cable Bridge is a massive project in progress by South Africa. Might meet a dead end even before contracts and all paperwork are done. But then, given South Africa's track record of putting on some of the most outstanding structures in Africa, it is no surprise that the Southern African nation will realize the project in flying colors. Besides its track record, the project has obtained some serious financial backings and the best architectural designs, which are only meant to drive the project not only towards completion but a fulfilling one as well. Just like many other projects which involve distortion of natural parks and the displacement of citizens, the backlash financial settlement and compensation plans will set the project task back a pretty penny as well as time wastage but at the end of the day, with a reputable team on board, the Cable Bridge project is just a few steps away from usage. There you have it explorers, a sneak peek into South Africa's Cable Bridge construction. Thanks for watching this video and if you did enjoy this video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.